OK, I've been asked to do a worked example of using the mid-ordinate rule, so I've just made up this example here. It'll be worth about three or four marks in an exam. The first thing to do with any numerical integration is to do a rough sketch graph. So this is not to get the shape of the graph right, because you may not know it, but any graph between 2 and 4 will do the trick, and the point of the graph is to visualize the strips we're using and make sure we get the right x values in our table of x's and y's and that we get the right value for the width of the strip which we call h. So we've got four strips so the area between 2 and 4 gets divided into four strips and then it's the mid-ordinate rule so the x values I want are the ones at the middles of the strips. So it's fairly clear that this is 3 and this is 2.5 so the values in the middle of the strips are things like 2.25, halfway between 2 and 2.5, and so on. So it's going to be 2.25, 2.75, 3.25, 3 and 3.75 are my x values. And the width of the strip, h, is clearly 0 0.5. Then the y values are calculated using this, 1 over x squared plus 1, is my equation for y. So I simply got to do that for each of these values. Now in this particular case it's probably worth uh, calculating each of those um, directly on the calculator and, and storing the result as a decimal. So for the first one I'm going to be doing 1 over 2.25 squared plus 1 which is 16 ninety sevenths or as a decimal, 0.16495. Always go to five significant figures or so in your decimals. Now to save myself doing that calculation tediously often, I can actually use table mode on the calculator. So I can enter the function 1 over uh, x squared plus 1. And I can start at 2.25 and I can end at 3.75 using a step length of 0.5. And here comes the table with all the values I need. I, I need to go on top of the values to get that fifth significant figure. So the next one is 0 0.11679 and then 0 0.084. 8649 and then the last one is 0 0.06639 so I've got my x and y values set up and then I've got to put these into the mid-ordinate rule now there is a formula on page 8 of your formula book but it looks too big and scary to really be worth um, getting used to I think so you're better off just visualising on your sketch graph what's going on We've worked out the coordinates of the midpoint for each little strip of the curve. So for each strip we're estimating its area as a rectangle using the y coordinate as the height. But the x coordinate isn't the width, in fact we don't use these values again. We just use the y coordinates and the width of the strip. So the width of the first strip is 0 0.5 times 0.16495. And all I've got to do is add on 0.5 times each of the other values because that's the area of the rectangle that I'll be using to approximate each strip. You can shorten the process by taking the 0.5 which each term has on it outside a bracket and having 0.5 times and then these y coordinates added together but either way will do the trick equally well. I'm going to do the second one just because I'm lazy 0.5 times a bracket with 0.16495 plus 0.11679 plus 0.08649 plus 0.06639 close brackets equals and it's giving me an answer of 0 0.21731 but normally they will actually insist that you round it off to a given level of accuracy normally three significant figures so I'd give my answer like 